Hey Explorers, Keita Explorer here, and today I'm here to talk about Google Flights and how to use Google Flights to find the best flights for you. I use Google Flights when I'm not finding flight deals through Going, which is the former Scott's Cheap Flights. So this is what I use when I have a time frame I'm looking for and I want to find me the best flight option for myself. So I'm going to go over all the little features about the flights portion of Google Flights and show you how I use it. So let's get into today's video. And before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It is free for you to do so. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And if at any point during this video you find it helpful, you can leave me a little tip by hitting the thanks button down below. Now let's get into today's video. All right, as you can see, I'm at google.com backslash flights. And this is where I come to look for flights when I'm looking to travel during a certain time period. We can't always flex our schedule to book the flight deals that we find with going formerly known as Scott Sheep Flight. So first I'm just gonna show, show you the simple search option. So as you can see, it's already in here saying Atlanta, that's where I fly out of. And let's say I just want to, I'm going to go to um, Johannesburg, South Africa. And even if you don't want to specifically fly into Johannesburg, but you want to go to South Africa, you can add a second option by clicking the plus button here. And then you can say, I want to actually go to Cape Town as well. And so you can put that in and hit the check mark. So you can actually search for multiple locations and you can actually do the same thing on your departure as well. You don't have to just fly out of Atlanta. Then you can pick your date options. So right now it's just giving me the most recent or, or date coming up here in March. But then if you're not looking to travel that soon, you can scroll through the months and it's going to give you the prices based on the dates coming up. And as you can see, the dates with the cheaper prices are in green. So it's kind of calling attention to those prices saying, hey, these are cheaper flight options. So you can keep scrolling out and you can see prices vary over the months for the rest of the year. I'm just gonna click on November 20th and then I wanna make sure I still get that $818 round trip. So I'm gonna click that and click done. Then it's going to give me the best departing flights. So these are the three best. Um, obviously this one's best based on price, but it's not the best on time and it has two stops. Whereas you may go down and this one's more money, but it has one stop and it's a shorter flight time. And also you can always see that, you know, the, they're picking flights out of JFK. And then here there's one stop as well with British Airways and it's more money, but it is a shorter flight time or travel time. And also you can see the emissions being used here. And also you can scroll down and you can see other flight options. Um, they're not the most efficient. They're, you know, they're taking longer time. They're more money. Some of them have better emissions. Some of them do not. And you can also see there's some nonstop flights here out of Atlanta, but it's costing more money. You will click on the option. We'll just click on this first one because it's the cheapest one. And then once you click on that, it will give you the returning flight that you can choose. It's obviously I'm going to click the returning flight with the same price and then um, and it's telling you it's higher ambitious. So that's something you want to pay attention to when you book things. And then it will tell you how to book. You can book directly with the airline, which I always recommend. But then they also have other ways you can book through all these third party services and you could click continue and it will take you directly to that site to book that flight option. And as you can see, it has more information that is saying that this is a low price for economy. So you are doing a great job if you book this flight price here on Google Flights. But now you can also do some filtering. So we're gonna start do a whole different search. We're gonna do Atlanta fly to Rio. We're gonna look at some dates and we're gonna reset. So you can always, if you don't, you know, you pick some dates and you're like, ah, I'm not feeling those dates, you can reset, it will take you back to the current month. But let's scroll through and find some cheaper 
flight options. So we're going to fly in September. So I'm gonna put that option in and it's gonna give me the same information, but we can do some filtering. Maybe you are a member of the Sky Team or One World Team or Star Alliance and you wanna make sure you rake up your miles for those airlines. Then you can click on those teams and it will filter on those flights only. So you can book flights with that alliance. You can look at bags to see if bags are included. You can filter on emissions, the time, the price, connecting airports, the amount of travel time. You can filter on all of those things to make sure you get a travel experience that works for you. And as soon as you update any of the filters here, it will instantly update your results based on those filters down below. So definitely you can filter and try to find the best option that works for you. You can also click the arrow next to the flight option so you can see the information, the more detailed information about this flight plan. So you see at least from ATL and it stops in Lima, Peru. It's a six and a half hour flight. It'll get there at 525 in the morning. It will actually tell you what type of airplane model it is as well as the flight number tell you how long the layover is in lima and then it will tell you when it departs lima at 10 50 a.m and then it will get to rio at 5 55 p.m and it gives you the air um, airport codes it'll tell you what the features of this plane each plane is like and all of that but the filter option is great if you are trying to tailor your flight to specific needs for you as an individual. Now, another great thing about Google Flights is that you can create alerts. So you do not have to constantly come in here and look for the flight prices and track them yourself. You can create alerts and Google Flights will send you an email of the alert. So say I want to go to Paris. So I could come in here, I could type Paris and maybe I'm trying to go to Paris from, I'll just say, I'm gonna just leave it from September 9th to September 16th. And I'm like, I am not feeling those prices right now. I come in here, I see the options, you know, for Sky Team, I have my filter set still, but I can come in here and I can track prices. So I can click this here. And as soon as I click this, it says you'll get emails when prices change for this option with these filters from September 9th to the 16th. And then you can always view these, um, these, this alert to see the alert set. And also when you get your emails, your alert emails sent to you, you can always in there quickly go in and remove that alert notification if you no longer need it or no longer want it. So the flight alerts or price alerts are great because as soon as a flight price goes up or down, you'll get an email about it and you don't have to constantly stress yourself over checking the prices. And if you're constantly checking the prices, your computer, you know, the cookies and all that stuff that tracks what you're doing, it will see that you're constantly looking for this flight option and it will signal for prices to fluctuate more on the upward level and you won't really find what you're looking for. So setting alerts are great to keep you in a straight mindset, okay? Now, while we're on that note about not checking so often, let's talk about incognito mode. So usually when I'm in Google Flight, but you could come in here and click on new incognito window, and this is with Google Chrome, but every browser has a private browsing or incognito option. So I'm gonna go into new incognito window and so when you go into private or incognito browsing, Chrome won't save your information. So it won't mess up your future searches of those flight options. So you're still gonna go to a Google Flights website and still it will still function the same way, but it's not going to save your information and not make your prices go on more an upward trend when you are checking through incognito or private browsing mode. Now, another cool option that is a little more spontaneous with Google Flights is the Explore option. So on the Explore option, you can put in where you're departing from, the dates that you're looking to travel. So we'll just leave it at the September 9th, September 16th option. And you can see around the globe what the current prices are for anywhere. 
So you can kind of scroll around the map like, okay, Paris is 1,000. 174 but let me let me scoot over and see what's happening porto portugal lisbon portugal just disappeared um lisbon is 845 or malta 956 but then we can scoot over to asia oh my gosh that flight is insane almost ten thousand dollars hong kong one thousand four hundred forty nine dollars and bangkok one thousand three hundred singapore one thousand two hundred twenty eight you can go down to australia see what's happening down here you have sydney seventeen twenty four um, but if you can see in south america you can see like you go to brasilia nine forty rio eight eighty six Cordoba, 981. Um, on the way, you see San Jose, Costa Rica is at 397. Jamaica, 376. So you can really scroll around like, hey, I don't know where I wanna go. I know I wanna go somewhere between September 9th and September 16th. Maybe it's my birthday. Maybe it's like your anniversary with your significant other. Maybe you just, this is the time you can have vacation or something. And you can kind of just scroll around saying like, I, I don't know where I wanna go, but I wanna go somewhere and it needs to be in a certain budget and you can kind of scoot around the global map and see where you can go based on your budget during that time frame. And when you hover over the option or click on the option rather, you can actually see what are some things to do in Seattle or whatever location you click on. And then you can scroll down and see like, oh, these are typical prices from Atlanta and you can see which airlines are going. So the cheapest would be with Spirit, but then you can see there's some options with Alaska Airlines as well, which are nonstop. So uh, this is really helpful. It also gives you a breakdown on where you can stay with hotels. And then um, it gives you information about the best time to go to Seattle. When's off season, when's peak season, what the temperatures are, how popular the the place is. And it's gonna give you similar breakdowns wherever you click on. So this Explore page is really nice. It's like you're going into a wonderful travel shop of flights with the Explore option on Google Flights. All right, Explorers. So today I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Google Flights and how I actually use it because this is how I use Google Flights to find the best flights for me and you can use it to find the best flights for you as well. So in today's video, I showed you how I use it, the filters, setting alerts, incognito mode, and the explore page, all with just the flights options with Google. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so, and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about this video, make sure you leave them down below in the comment box. And if you are interested in purchasing some travel merchandise to show that you're the exploring queen or king that you are, you can check out my merchandise store to help you get that exploring queen or king merchandise. Also, make sure you check out my other videos about going formerly known as Scott Cheap Flights and other videos here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and night wherever in the world you are. Bye.